How are you going to approach these drums? You got the machine? You're going to use Yeah, the machine, but like we have to <gasps> Has anyone the sound. sent any rec any sound? So we've got the request for the half the half Red Bull and we've got the salt shaker. Yeah. We've got the kettle corn. <laughs> Can you hold this? Hold the mic or like All right. Mike, I have this cuz I want to shake it in a really specific way. Get that shake. I'm also afraid of like unleashing all the salt on me right now. <laughs> Which we kind of did before. <laughs> I actually need to hear it louder. Okay, that's good. You guys think that's cool too, right? Is it you guys think it's cool? I think it's really cool. Yeah. And... So what we can do now is we can take that stretch of audio, we can chop it up, we can pick little bits that we like out of it, we can make it louder or softer, basically do anything to it. Not bad. Pretty good. Not bad. I'll try to loop it. So it's a little off right now, but I think I like it. Adds groove. Yeah. Uh, and the main thing is like when it's off, there's like good off and bad off. And I find that things being late sounds better than things being early. Mm -hmm. So pushing things always sounds better in my opinion. So let's just add this already. I want these shakers in. And what we're seeing right now is you like re refining your drum sounds. Mm -hmm. And you can see it's not really looping completely on. Let's just pull it a little bit. See, music can be very tedious, you guys. But this I is... think this is amazing. I'm having so much fun right now. <laughs> Are you guys having fun? <laughs> Drop something in the comments, like your favorite emoji. Pick the emoji that describes how you're feeling deeply in your heart. And you can hear the metronome in the back, but honestly, like... By the time you lay it out. Yeah, doesn't matter. Okay, so let's do the fun stuff. You could probably use like a DS or something to nip it out in the queuing if you really wanted. Yeah, it's always funny because like metronome clicks are kind of like in a very useful like range. Kind of similar. Let's see. Why don't we use... Oh yeah, totally. Let's do... So I like Pro Q. Uh, it's by Fab Filter, so that's like one of my favorite EQs to use. How about this though? I really only want the high end anyway, so just a quick thing, we can just do a low cut. So that's taking all the lower frequencies out of the sound. <gasps> Wait, you guys are sending emojis! Cats, waves, oh yeah, the cats, you're our kitty cats! <laughs> Salt shakers, Bob Ross. Cool. I love Bob Ross. Do you, I don't know if you guys know that. <laughs> I, freak, I love that dude. You He's amazing. So I'm Australian. I don't know who Bob Ross is. He's He was like a... People just gasped. Someone over there just gasped. Is that bad? What is it? Who is he? So Who's he cool? was a, paint, this, a painter with this like... <gasps> huge bro. The guy who just paints on TV. But it's all about... He's super zen. He always talks about there are no mistakes, oh, you know. Okay. He likes happy trees and he'll turn things into happy things and just a peaceful guy that really encouraged people to create art even oh, if it wasn't. Oh, I love him already. You know. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> you guys are saying that this is like an audio version of happy painting, so that's cool. I think I've kind of got that metronome out a little bit. Baby, baby, I know that. Now let's 
double time this one. Jeez. Hmm. So it sounds really funny and to me. We'll keep it long for now. Let's work on some drums. We'll figure that out later. Chat still wants to hear that coffee mug cowbell, and we, you know we've you got it. We've got, got it. You. It's gonna get in there. You guys just be patient. Think Bob Ross. Think trees. Let's do the cowbell because we didn't actually do that one, right? No, we put the salt in it. Oh, oh but we didn't. We've got that this one. one. Yeah, that's that's the cowbell, right? Okay, I can do this. You can do this. All right. Which Wait, just, part? Just one. Or down low. Try right here. Okay. Think, think if it's too high, it's a little too sharp. Okay. Oh, yeah. Good. Y'all really like the cowbells, huh? Who doesn't? Uh, this is true. A good cowbell. I guess cowbells are more mute, muted sounding, right? Yeah. Oops. I think that's the one. Kind of like a baby between a cowbell and a triangle. And the one that you went with is the one that I thought I messed up. So you just never know. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. It's a, it's it's not as sharp because like I think when you went really high, yeah. it gets really crispy. Tingy, yeah, we want something with more grit. Yeah, this is this is a good sound. See if I can put it in between. That was nice, right? Yeah, okay. I like that. Let's loop it. So, is this this is Ableton 10, right? Yes. I'm still having a lot of trouble with the copy paste and the different. They slightly changed the copy paste in Ableton 10, and I'm still not quite. Yeah, it's because they added this easy automation. Yeah. Which does help, but then I'm always in the wrong mode. Yeah. I'm still not nailing it. If but you, thanks, Ableton. Yeah, I mean, if you ever get like press this on accident, if you move this into the piano mode, then it yeah, won't do it. So. You get stuck, and I'm always in a hurry, and then I'm like, why isn't it working? Yeah. And, and like, also, oh. like, now you have to copy and paste from up here. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, from the bottom. Yeah. These are true. Someone out there, evil looking people. Just trying to mess with me. Okay. So I put, this is just manually. Um, adjusted, but I put the I put our um, cow cow bell. Yeah, mug bell. Wait, human human bell. Oh yeah. So I put our um, goblet cow bell situation Back in here. Back to the goblet cow bell. Um, what I did too, just so it sounds more natural. Uh, machine actually does it on its own too. If you ever do note repeat on here, it'll um, adjust the velocity so they're not all the same. It sounds more natural. So it's like you're playing it. Like if your hands were doing it. And basically, I have. The cowbell um, every half, like uh, every quarter note, and it's playing offbeat between the kick and the snare, and it's always like louder, quieter, louder, quieter, like that. So not noticeable, but it'll make the whole thing again sound more. And you just real. you just audibly did that. You drew it in, okay? Mm And I think it sounds kind of dry, so I'm going to put some reverb on the situation. Let's see, I'm going to copy. I'm pretty excited to see what you're going to do with that can, that opening can. I know. I feel like it's going to be like the last moment before it goes back into a chorus or something. Right. Like that last sound. It sounds so cool. It's almost like the sound is so special you don't know what to do with it. It's just going to sit in the corner forever. <sighs> You could either, I mean, you could give it rhythm and make it more of like a feature sound too. That's true. Like a metallic could... up front thing. Let's see. But I guess with this track, it's all about the vocal and the instrumental is just kind of feeling out around the vocal. I 
actually did not notice that camera until now. I feel, I feel like you've been spying on me. Baby. This song isn't even out yet. This is a very exclusive. Oh. Just a little break. Maybe I could put like oh. some cool synths in. Some of the vocal harmonies? Yes. Oh. Ah. Oh, that's where the can should come in. Where'd you go, can? Canny boy. We lost a can. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> <laughs> we lost the can with the crash. Oh dear. We can do it again. Okay. Anyone have a preferred flavor? When's the compilation coming out? May 3rd, 4th, 5th? I'm not sure, but it's in May. In May. Early, one of the first weeks. Cans, <laughs> cans, cans. We've got heaps <laughs> of cans. Okay. So this track isn't even out for another month or a month and a half, two months. What, when is it? We're at the end of March. So that's like another six weeks or so. That is cool. So you're getting the remix before the track. It's triple X exclusive. I like that phrase. Triple X exclusive. Tri no, wait, triple exclusive. Yeah. I said that wrong. Triple X exclusive doesn't work. <laughs> right? okay. okay. So we took that off, yeah. One, two, three. Stop. Back in the game, people. And get some sizzle in there. Okay. I know where I want to put it. Oops. Thanks, Alex. Alex is telling me that I cracked well. It I was, did good crack. It was really good. I don't know if anyone knows this, but I love this. I love this. This is a good like turnaround. Oh my god, this is gonna be great. Ah! Banger. Anna Luno here. Toki Monster here. If you want to see more of this, then go ahead and subscribe to the Red Bull Remix Lab YouTube channel.